How's it going guys? Diggler TV with another short, sweet, and simple tutorial for you. Showing you how to fix the dialogue in Fallout 4. How to make it go from this to this. So now you'll actually see what your guy's gonna say instead of just the first word or two. So the first thing you're gonna want to do is open up your internet browser and go to the Nexus Mod website. Once there, just go to the top and click the install Nexus Mod Manager button. Now you're going to have two options depending on what operating software you use. I personally use Windows 7, so I'm going to click the first one. Once it's downloaded, just go ahead and click Run. I'll just go ahead and tell you now that there are no hidden downloads in this. There's no oh, select normal install or custom install where if you don't select custom it's going to change your search to Yahoo. You don't have to worry about that. Once installed, it's going to start searching for your games. So you'll notice it picked up Fallout 4, just click that green check mark and start it up. Go back to your browser and if you look in the description you'll find a link for the full dialog interface mod. Download that with the download NMN button and you'll notice that your Nexus mod manager has a notification. Now you're going to have to log in here. So create an account on the Nexus Mod Manager website. Now if you've logged in correctly, it should say logged in in the bottom left corner. Go to Download Manager, and once your download is complete, simply go up to the top left corner, click Plugins, and as you can see, Fallout 4 is right there. So go ahead and click the Enable All Inactive Plugins button, click Yes and go back to mods. You're going to notice that when you open up user interface that it's faded and not installed. If you try to click the install button again you're going to get an error. Now from that error you can either click that link or you can click the one in the description and it'll give you a tutorial on how to enable Fallout 4 mods. So as it says you want to navigate to your Fallout 4 folder in your documents under my games once inside you want to right click your fallout 4.ini click properties and make sure that it's not read only then go ahead and just do the same thing to your fallout 4 prefs once you know that they're both not read only open up your fallout prefs file navigate to the very bottom and you'll see the line launcher directly underneath that you want to copy the following text which is in the description B enable file selection equals one. Go ahead, save and close that. And then open up your Fallout 4.ini. And you're going to want to search for a line that says S resource data ders final equals string slash. And replace that with the text in the description. And again, once complete with that, save and close. Once all that's done, now we know that we can go back to Nexus Mod Manager, select the mod, click install, and boom, no errors. So, we know it's installed. Let's open up Fallout 4 and see if it works. Beautiful. So, as you can see, clearly the mod's active and working. And I hope that this helps with your Fallout 4 experience, because now you actually know what your guy is going to say. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, comment if you think there's anything I could have done differently or better, since yet again I'm just getting into YouTube making and editing, so I know I'm not that great. But if you love me anyways, and you want to stick around for the ride and help me improve, then go ahead, click that subscribe button. And guess what guys, we just hit 200 subscribers! Thank you guys so much, you guys make this all worth it, every like, comment, subscription just puts a smile on my face, you don't even understand. You guys are more beautiful than my hairy legs in this sequin dress. So, keep it up, I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next bit.